Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and it's time for my June favorites. I love favorites videos. I have been doing favorites videos I think every single month since I started YouTube for over three years now. With the exception of the month of December, which I always do my yearly favorites, but that's another story. <laughs> I like to include mostly beauty products, but I'll also throw in some other like lifestyle things or books. And I always mix rediscovered like old favorites along with new things. And it's really genuinely just a representation of what I enjoyed using this month. I traveled so much in the month of June. I don't know if you can tell by my voice, but I picked up a little bit of a virus somewhere along the way. So I'm not operating at 100%, but I'm still excited about my favorites. I do have finally some books back in the mix. I know for a couple months there, I wasn't including book recommendations and that was either because I wasn't reading anything that I really, really loved and wanted to recommend. And there were a couple months there where I didn't really read anything at all. So that's one great thing about traveling is I always read a lot when I'm traveling. I did finish a couple of books and I have two here that I want to recommend. First of all is from Sally Thorne. I recommended her book The Hating Game a couple months back and I just finished this one 99% mine. I liked this one a lot. I mean obviously I'm putting it in my favorites and recommending it to you. Don't like it more than The Hating Game. Still prefer The Hating Game. She doesn't have a lot of work out there right now, but I do really enjoy this author. I hope that I can continue to find things that she's written. This was a fun read. It is a little bit lighter, romancy type of thing, but I found it to be fun and interesting and also got kind of deep at some points, so I like it a lot. The other book that I want to recommend to you is this one called The Dinner List. It's written by Rebecca Searle. I picked this up in the airport expecting this to be another like light, fun, like chiclet type of read. I was fully crying on the plane reading this. <laughs> this is such a cool concept for a book. I'm not going to go too much into it. I highly recommend that you check this out. This is, I'm, I'm sensitive. I cry easily. This was a tearjerker for me and I still really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was an interesting concept for a book. These are two that I finished actually while I was traveling and thoroughly enjoyed both of them. Next up, let's talk about my favorite nail polishes of the month. I have been on a roll because yet again, I'm actually wearing one of the polishes that I'm talking about. So let's talk about this one first. First up is this beautiful holographic color that I have on my nails. This is Summer Sands from Ren Polish. I know I've spoken about Ren Polish before on my channel. I've had many polish favorites from them. This is such a beautiful, just fine holographic like beigey gray type of color. I wore this the whole time I was in Las Vegas and it just makes me happy every time I look at it. This is super similar to another one that I love from Ren Polish called Happy Thoughts but I don't care. I love them both and Summer Sands is definitely a summer favorite for me so far. Another Butter London polish favorite. Butter London makes some of my all-time favorite nail polishes. I love their colors. I love their formulas. I love their brushes. There's nothing I don't love about Butter Butter London polishes and I know this probably isn't like screaming summer fun nail polish to you guys. I was wearing this in so many of my videos this month. I loved the way this looked. It wore beautifully for so long. I think I wore this for almost three weeks. This is the color Violet Pastels. It's kind of hard to describe this shade. It looks like just a pale like bone beige gray type of color but it has a little bit of a violet tinge to it once it's on the nails. It's still super wearable. It just kind of comes off as this like nudie neutral type of color. So I enjoyed it. Maybe it's not everybody's cup of tea, but this has been one of my favorites of the year so far. Let's talk about something I'm really, 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 really excited about. I'm not sure when this favorites video is going to go up, but this is a brush set. It's from Doll 10 and I've actually included a Doll 10 brush in my favorites videos before. This is an eye set. This is the Doll Eye Essentials set that Doll 10 is releasing in collaboration with Makeup Molly, who is one of my dear friends. I could not be happier and more excited, especially because I don't, as you can tell, 
I've been using these brushes. I already knew I liked doll 10 brushes and I'm so excited for these. This is an eight piece brush set. It's priced at $39, which is really, really reasonable considering that is less than $5 per brush. Plus it comes with this really cute little rose gold makeup bag. These are all synthetic fibers, so they're cruelty free. I'm so, so excited for this. I'm so happy for my friend Molly. If you don't follow her, find her on YouTube, find her on Instagram. She is so hardworking. I've known her in person for a couple years now. She's just as sweet and gorgeous in person as she seems online. I'm so genuinely excited for her and proud of her. She has worked so hard. She deserves this collaboration. This is a beautiful product collaboration. These brushes are useful. They're high quality. It's something literally everybody can use. It doesn't matter what your skill level is. It doesn't matter what your skin tone is. I love this collaboration. I love this product. Launching June 27th. Go support Molly. Go follow her. Go check out these brushes. I love them. I've only been using them for a short time because I just got them in PR. Look at her. Look at her. There she is. Hey girl. Want to be in my favorites video? Since we were just talking about eye brushes, let's talk about my favorite eyeshadow palette of the month. This is a rediscovered favorite and this one kind of surprised me. I threw this in my travel makeup bag just kind of on a whim. I hadn't used this in a few months for sure. This is the Through My Eyes palette from ColourPop in collaboration with I Love Sarai. And this is such a gorgeous, like warm weather vacation kind of palette. This is just the perfect size. It's not too big, but it still has a great selection. I felt like I could get some really just quick, easy everyday looks. I got some of these bright pops of color if I wanted to kind of get a little bit more tropical, a little bit more fancy vibe. I also found that I could get some really pretty evening looks too that weren't too over the top. I do prefer a little bit more toned down style and I just really enjoyed using this. I felt very inspired by this color palette. I was traveling in warm weather places so I think that's kind of why I connected to these colors. I was at the beach for a week and then I was in Las Vegas for a long weekend which is probably what wrecked my immune system but anyway. I just wanted to mention this since I did enjoy it so much. Plus I was using this mirror a ton too and not all of my favorite ColourPop palettes have mirrors. This has a nice size mirror so rediscovered favorite. Really really enjoyed this one. If you're having warm weather I suggest you pull this baby out and do some kind of warm tropical looks. Speaking of tropical inspiration, I just got this. I'm so excited about it. MAC just released a bunch of these new Fix Plus minis in different scents. I picked up four out of the five. I did not get the cucumber one. I think that's Ulta exclusive, but I did get pineapple, which this one is my favorite. There's also a white tea, a watermelon, and a peony but pineapple has been my favorite. I don't know if you know my affection for the Coconut Fix Plus. I was crazy for that. I was like trying to start petitions for it to become permanent, then it did. Now let's make pineapple permanent because I kind of want to make a half and half mixture of coconut and pineapple Fix Plus and just, mm. Don't tempt me because I will do it. I've really been enjoying this. I love Fix Plus. I use it to set the powders on my makeup as well as to foil my eyeshadows. And this like cute, fun, tropical pineapple packaging and the really light pineapple scent just make it all that much more fun to use. So this has definitely been a favorite, even though I haven't had it for very long. I think I've only had this for a week, but I already think I need to go in and get a backup because I'm about to use up the pineapple scent real quick. Last but not least, let's talk about my three lip favorites. First is this lip glowy balm from Laneige. I didn't really think that these were anything too special when I first started using the peach one. I was just like, eh, lip balm. Ever since I put this berry lip balm in my purse, it's been a struggle for me to use any other lip products because this just feels so good. It looks so juicy and just yummy on my lips and since it's actually a lip balm, it's really treating and nourishing. I love the scent. I love the texture. I love the little applicator and the squeezy tube. Didn't think I was going to love these. I thought they were just going to be a regular lip balm and I was wrong. I love the berry one. 
like it better than the peach. Similarly, this oil infused lip tint from NARS. This is more of a sheer like lip treatment type of deal. This is the shade Primal Instinct. I spoke about this in a video about the new NARS stuff that came out. I mentioned this was a favorite in that video and it has been living in my purse alongside that lip glowy balm. I'm actually wearing this on my lips right now paired with this ultra blotted lip from ColourPop in Scenic Root. This is such a nice mixture. It's just comfy, natural. That's what I like. I don't know if you've picked up on that, but comfy and natural is kind of my vibe. And lastly, to go completely out of the box, this coral lipstick this is a luxe lipstick from ColourPop. It's from their spring collection. This shade is called You're Thriving. And I typically don't go for brights. As you can tell from my other favorites, I like sheer nude lip balms. But wearing this coral color with my Through My Eyes palette, I just felt like a spicy, vacation-y kind of girl, you know what I'm saying? I'll try to find a photo of me dressed up and wearing this lipstick. It's not what I typically go for. I always want to be a bright lipstick girl, but I end up being a nude lipstick girl, and something about your thriving just called to me this month, and I really enjoyed wearing it. Those are some of the things I really enjoyed this month. I always wanna hear what you liked, what books are you reading that you're enjoying, anything for makeup, skincare, nail polish, even your favorite snacks, your favorite TV shows. I get so many great recommendations from you guys, so always keep those coming. Know that I really appreciate them. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Ooh, that shift though. Enough that it's, it, I, I, Ma'am, can you talk about nail polish? No, no, I can't. Super, bro, super baby. What was I even trying to say there? <laughs> Why you look so cute though? Hey. All right, I'm done for now gushing about my friend, but I'm just, I'm so happy for her. I'm so happy for her. Oh, okay, I'm gonna rein it in, I promise. Ugh. Fix pluses, fix pluses, huh? Mac just released a, <clears throat> I, <clears throat> how crooked was I this entire video? Pretty bad or a little bit bad? Hmm. Look, I'm doing the best I can over here, okay? Man, I was holding that coffin for a while. How wrecked is my voice after filming two videos in a row? My camera's about to die and my voice is about to die. Great timing. I love that eye channel. So shiny. A fix plus. I would just make a little like cocktail out of this. Why do I always reference ingesting your makeup? Please don't do that. What is wrong with you? There's no good answer for that. Okay, I'm gonna go take a crap load of medicine and hopefully do a not shoddy edit on this video. Okay, wish me luck. Okay, thanks for watching, bye.